Hey guys, my name is Katya. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new, I hope you stick around and don't forget to subscribe. I make fashion related videos and sometimes I also make travel vlogs. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the royal wedding that just took place last weekend. And I'm sure most of you have probably watched it already online. Um, and if you're from like London, you probably um, saw it live and maybe you even got to stand outside while the cars drove by. I'm pretty jealous if you got to do that. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about um, my favorite looks of the wedding and I think it's just so much fun because I love fashion. So when there's a huge event like this, you just know there's going to be a bunch of top brands and designers showcasing their, their fashion and outfits. So it's really fun to talk about it and check it out. And so I'm just going to talk about a few of my favorites and a few of my not so favorites and why. And like I said, this is this is really just my perception. So. You know, you can disagree with me. It's totally okay. But yeah, um, and everyone remembers like when Kate Middleton got married, like what, six years ago or something like that? Her dress was so amazing and every woman like who was getting married wanted to recreate her dress because it was just so beautiful and different and timeless. So I think a lot of us were excited when um, Meghan Merkel was getting married because they're like, oh, I wonder what she's going to wear. And, you know, it's really exciting to know what they're going to be wearing because a lot of people take inspiration from it and because it's a royal wedding you expect a huge wow factor right so having that having said that i was a little disappointed when megan merkel the bride when she came out of the car um just because the wow factor of the dress was a little bit bland and like, don't get me wrong, she looked great. She looks amazing, but I just feel because it's a royal wedding, you expect a little bit more, right? Like some jewels or some crazy um, makeup or something just that stands out, <laughs> right? So that I was kind of disappointed in, but she, as you can see in this picture here, um, she was wearing the Givenchy dress and she helped, I think, create the look with her designer. So, um, yeah, she was wearing just like kind of like an off, was kind of like at the shoulders, long sleeve gown. And it was like in a satiny silk type uh, material. And then she had like a very long uh, veil and the veil was made, uh, it was a 16 foot wedding veil. <laughs> so it was very long and it was made of silk tulle. So very pretty. And then it had, um, like it had embroidered floral looking uh, parts on the edges of the veil. So it was very classic, very pretty. And then she had the tiara, which was an English tiara, and it had diamonds in set on it in platinum, which was pretty nice. And it was made in 1932, apparently. I did a little bit of research and it features a um, detachable, um, brooch right in the middle that's also very blingy and that was also made of diamonds and it was dating back to 1893 so it's a very um, traditional heirloom that she got to wear so that was really nice i think the tiara was the focal point of her outfit just because the rest of it was so simple so i think that was a good choice on her part just to add some glam and glitter so that was very beautiful um, but like I said, I think the dress was just kind of, mm, it was nothing special about it. Do you know what I mean? Like there was no beads, no lace, no texture, nothing. And I don't think it fit very well. Like I, I know a few other people will agree with me on that, that like, um, that it just didn't seem to fit a lot very well in her arms. It was a little loose. So I think it could have been tailored better. Um, but like she looked great. I just feel like it wasn't a wow factor. Like her makeup was very plain and her dress was a bit plain. So I would rate this outfit of hers a 7 out of 10. And of course, I was hoping to say a 10 out of 10, but I'm just, I wasn't impressed by the overall look of it. However, I do believe that she did wear a second dress after the ceremony and it was more like a, like a sleeveless, um, tighter fit dress and i would rate that one more like an 8.5 out of 10 that one was really nice it fit her a lot better um so that one i think was a lot nicer on her but just in general i wasn't super impressed with her dress and yeah unfortunately that is just the way i feel <laughs> moving on to donna ringland and that is the mother of the bride i'm not sure if i pronounced that right but um she was of course at her wedding and um, she was seen wearing a green dress 
kind of like a dress suit so it has like a dress and then like a jacket over it matching and i thought it looked really nice on her i think it looked good with her skin tone and it was like a pale kind of a green color so it was very nice for like the springtime and then she was wearing nude heels which i think is nice because it elongates the legs and then she was wearing a silver clutch like a little handbag and um she was also wearing a cream what's called a fascinator hat like on top it kind of sits on the top and i think that was really nice that she wore that because it's a very you know british type um, look so I think because it was a British wedding that looked really nice that she wore that I think overall she looked really good for the mother of the bride um, very tasteful um, and I just think she had like very nice um, details like with the clutch and the hat it just made it a little bit more interesting so overall I actually really liked her outfit I would give it an 8 out of 10 all right the next one I'm going to be talking about is Queen Elizabeth so um, she's known to be wearing a lot of monochromatic um, looks especially for events and things like that so her choice of what she wore wasn't like shocking like it's pretty typical of what she wears but the nun but nonetheless I thought it was really nice so she was wearing a flared dress in um, the colors of that dress were in lime um, lemon colors uh, purple gray and it had like a floral print on it and then she wore a silk tweed suit like jacket over it um, and that was in the color um, like a lime color as well and this is not like the most you know pretty color lime green or whatever but I think it just looks really really nice overall and it gives like a very royal um, look just because it's a bold color then she wore a top hat with a dark purple like sash or like like feather thing <laughs> and it had a little bit of like a bling flower detail going on and then she had a black bag and matching black shoes so those kind of like I think because she was wearing overall bright colors I think the black accessories was a good choice to just kind of keep it like a little bit more muted toned down and then she had white gloves and a pearl necklace with a like gold shiny brooch on her jacket so overall I thought she looked really really nice and classy very appropriate for the queen <laughs> and I think she always looks great especially for her age I think she looks good and stylish so I give her an 8 out of 10. We're going to talk about Kate Middleton. So she wore an Alexander McQueen um, coat dress and she's worn this um, piece I, I believe a few times before. I guess she just really likes it but it looks nice. Um, she wore it with a top hat with a floral like it had like a floral bouquet on the side um, like a cream color and then she uh, wore with beige heels and her hair was down like very just loose waves and then she had some dangle earrings on it's just little like silver dangle earrings so her overall look was um very simple and um like a classic color um i wish she would worn something maybe a little bit more colorful just to spice things up just because she's worn this so many times but nonetheless i think it looked really nice it was very um chic and very stylish and i think it fit very well on her um, and she looked really cute with her daughter. Her daughter was like the flower girl, I believe, and she looked so cute. So I think when you have a little flower girl as your daughter, it's almost like the perfect accessory. Like she, her daughter beside her just made her whole, whole, like her whole outfit look even better. So I thought it was a really cute um, look. I think she looked really good. I like the outfit and I would rate this an eight out of 10. So now we're going to go to some of the guests. And I'm going to just randomly pick some. So I'm going to look at Amal Clooney and George Clooney. So the couple um, from Hollywood, everyone knows. And I actually really, really liked their outfit. I think they look really good together. Um, I noticed that George has gotten his, you know, beard thing going on there still. Um, I really like her outfit. So she's wearing a mustard yellow dress. And um, it's kind of like a high low hem. So like the the front of it was lower than than the knee but then the back of it went all the way to the almost to the ground that was a really interesting cut very stylish um and then she had nice red lips on it and you some people might be a little scared to put like a yellow with red but i actually thought it was it looked really nice it looked really good and so her dress was by the brand stella mccartney and then she wore it with a top hat with like a thin mesh just kind of covering her face and it had little tiny jewels like throughout and I think that was really really pretty um and then George Clooney was just wearing a gray suit 
and he, then he incorporated um, a like a mustard yellow tie and I think that was really nice to kind of like match their outfits together but overall I think they looked really good very stylish I liked the colors I liked the way that they put it together I think it was very modern and her dress fit very well it was tailored very nicely so I think they looked really good for a royal wedding and I would rate them I rate them a nine point nine, like a nine out of ten like they look good all the time so nine out of ten now we're going to talk about Sophia Wellesley and James Blunt. I feel like I've like I used to listen to James Blunt music all the time like 10 years ago and I feel like I've never listened to him anymore. It's like does he still make music or am I just like unaware? <laughs> but anyways, um, this is the couple I'm going to look at now. Okay, so I was like obsessed with this look. Her, her dress is amazing. Like, I want this dress. So she is wearing um, a floral print dress with like a bib collar. And then um, it kind of has a little bit like a, a ruffle bottom a little bit. Like just the way it like, hangs around the ankles. And then she has black pump heels and like a gold little hand clutch purse. And then she's wearing like this um, beige flower headband almost over her head it's kind of like a hat um i guess but looks a little bit more like a headband from this picture at least but i think she looks really nice i like the dress the dress is kind of unexpected for a wedding i feel like it's i don't know i feel like a lot of people for a wedding would wouldn't wear something so i don't know like this looks like something more you'd walk you'd see on the fashion runways um so i think that was kind of an interesting choice on her part and i think it paid off because i think it's like honestly one of the best dresses it looks so nice I love the florals, the colors of it, like the turk, like the um, the blues peeking through with the reds. It looks so nice, and it's very youthful, very um, trendy. So I think she just looks so nice, and it's well fitted. Like I want this dress, <laughs> really nice. And then he he's just wearing a um, traditional morning suit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how long the the suit goes. Mm, just not. I think it's a little bit old-fashioned um, for a younger person but nonetheless I think the outfit he looks good and I think together they look really 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 classy and very European so I give them like a solid 9.5 it is really nice I think the only reason why I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because of his long suit I just I'm not, it's not my thing but I think they look really good so yeah and I'm just gonna have some tea out of my London mug now for the last two so the next one is called kitty spencer um and she was actually princess diana's niece or she is and this was my favorite look she looks so good i loved this okay so she's wearing an emerald green um frock kind of dress and she has like a nice um necklace around and it's just like tons of diamonds like it's just beautiful and then she's wearing a top hat with a thin mesh overlay covering her her face but you can still see through it and the um the dress was by the designer uh dolce and gabbana and i'm obsessed with this brand right now like they mm. they're like super 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 amazing all their stuff is floral and colorful and bold and gold and i just think it looks really nice so I think she did a great choice with picking which designer to wear and I think the dress was just amazing. I love the cut of it, like the top is very traditional but then the bottom, I don't know, is very like fashionable and youthful with the flower print and it looks very painted on. I just think it looks super cool. She could totally, if she took the, the top hat off, she could totally wear this like at the red carpet. It's really nice. So I think that the dress was more like Hollywood fashionable and then the top, you know, hat was more royal. You know elegant so i think putting them together really was a good match to keep it still kind of um, respectful and um, appropriate for a wedding but then the dress was very high fashion so i really like that i really like that she kept her makeup really like natural but kind of like a smoky eye which also kept it very fashionable and youthful and then i like that she had a pop of color in her clutch it was like an orange um, bag and then orange shoes and that really ties in the flower print of her dress i think it's so amazing this is so beautiful so I'm a huge fan. I think she looked really good and I literally give this a 10 out of 10. Like I have nothing bad to say about it. It's a really good outfit. So yeah. And then the last one is going to be my least favorite. <laughs> um, I know you usually save the best for last, but I actually didn't do that. <laughs> I did like 
the worst for last. So anyways, this person's name is Delphina Belkir. Um, and I guess she's friends of Harry, like um, Prince Harry, like, or her husband is. So she, let's see what she's wearing here. So here they go. Um, if you like this dress, that's awesome. Me personally, I just, ugh, out of everybody I was kind of scrolling through, I just don't like it. So she's wearing like this light blue um, Akaville Pam Pampa dress. Um, that's the designer and it's with a matching hat. So the dress and the hat are kind of the same color. I, mm, she's wearing nude heels with it, um, a navy blue clutch and I think a little, little tiny silver necklace. I am just not a fan of the look. I think the hat on her just ages her. It doesn't, it's not youthful. It's just, mm. and I think, I think, I think it would look better without the hat, to be honest. But I think the dress, I just really don't like the dress. I don't like the, the I mean, I'm a colorful person, but I think the color is a little tacky. The material looks a little cheap, okay? In my opinion, I don't like the bottom, how it's kind of like going like this to the bottom. I just think it's an unflattering hem. I don't think it's very flattering around her like top part. It just, it kind of like, looks a little bit too small there and then her I don't know it just looks really dated and cheap like the overall look I don't I don't really like the dress <laughs> so I don't like the hem of it the fit um and the material the material itself is probably what's stealing it looks like a cheap um almost like a plasticky material you know what I mean so that I will sadly and I'm sorry I have to give it a four out of ten I just really don't like it um, I think it would have been more like a 6 out of 10 if she had gotten rid of the hat, but still, I just, not really a fan, so yeah. But yeah, that's basically my opinions on the best and the worst of some of the people who were at the royal wedding, of course the bride. Um, overall, I think the whole wedding was beautiful, um, the castle's amazing, like the whole ceremony's amazing, I mean everyone looked great, but there's always going to be you know it's always fun to critique fashion so that was just my take on it uh, leave me a little comment in, uh, down below of what your favorite um, look of the wedding was whether it was the bride's um, outfit or a guest and let me know who's the worst outfit was in your opinion I always think it's kind of fun to talk with you guys and hear your opinions but yeah um I hope you guys are doing well it's really nice blue sky out today I'm gonna go take a walk after but yeah thank you so much for watching um, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.